Oh god, hello everyone, this is Natler signing back in and welcome back to Seduce Me, the Atomic Game. I needed to go find out how am I supposed to get this, so I went <clears throat> to check a little bit on the internet again. So we're gonna load from where I um, made the deal or something. Is it here? Yeah, I wanna make a deal because I let the boys go already. I sided most of the time with Suzu, so here. And, uh, conscience, they weren't heartless without a reason. She could be reasoned with. Hey, wait! What? You're wasting my time. Shush! I want to make a deal with you. I want power. She raised an eyebrow at me. What kind of power? Demonic power. Anything. I just want to have it. <laughs> You want power, but don't know what kind of power you want. Interesting, human. I want the power to fl- Not again. I want the power to fly! Actually, I want the power to- I actually want all power. Except for time. Yeah, except the rewinding of time. I do not want the power of the rewinding time. Can you not do that? As I watched, Diana walked over to me and gripped my chin. She examined my face, which made me wonder what the heck she was looking for. My lips, it's right down here. Do I have something on it? Can you not do that? It seemed to glow as she looked into my eyes, which both scared me and made me feel warm and fuzzy. I put a small smirk painted on her face. Well, since you didn't specify what kind of power... Do not give me the power of sexuality! What was she thinking? and tap her fingers on her crossed arms, trying to think. I was unsure what ran through her mind, but I hope it was good. Coming up the solution, finally lowered her arms and nodded to herself. Very well, human. Power you want, so power you shall have. Okay. I was a large beam of purple and black light to shoot up from the pit below me. I became so consumed in it, shining my eyes tightly. And yet, it's not yet black. It came dark and I didn't want to open my eyes for any reason. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Couldn't even feel my own body. Darkness surrounded my body and I felt weightless in its embrace. What is this I wanted? Where was I? Was I dead? I couldn't be. This couldn't be what death was. How do you know what death is? What is going to happen to me? Why was I in darkness? Why was I consumed in this blanket of darkness? I didn't know what was happening and I was feel like I never feel and I felt like screaming. But in a dark night like this, who would answer? Diana, where are you? I could hear my voice empty in the darkness without echo. I was in an abyss. I was in an abyss. Left alone, left alone with no one to turn to. Was this freedom? Was this power? Was it this? Was it the power of loneliness? You're too chaotic for the world of humans, little girl. I'm going to give you something very valuable, so you best not squander the chance. What are you talking about? Where are you? You're about to be reborn. You will be reborn into a powerful creature. So powerful, the demon lord himself will learn to fear. Okay. And I'm going to give you the power to defeat him. Okay. Held my body quick in pain suddenly, forcing me to curl over my body and cry out. I know, that's the very ugliest scream you've ever heard. My clothes burned off at me and I watched in fright as my hands and feet began to darken in the inky and dangerous purple tint. The color traveled through my skin and made my body twitch in both fear and pain. I know it's messed up. I couldn't help but scream in agony at the pain rushing through me. It felt like my skin was burning away and being replaced by a new shell. I was, it was a torture. Hello. It was a torturous mutation. Hi. Torturous mutation. <clears throat> yes. I'm on my period! Sorry. I could feel burn marks themselves under my flesh. Marking my body in a purple tattoo gallery. Hey, I want to see that tattoo. 
No, no. Stop kissing the wood stock. And my head began to feel heavy. Grip onto the sides of my head only to feel something growing from each side. I'm growing horns. I grip onto the new additions to my head and grip. There's a bird beside the rabbit. Head and grasp. Horns. Was I becoming a devil? No. I was becoming a goat. To be able to play goat simulator. A demon? A demon. I was a demon. My life flashed before my eyes and burnt away like flowers in a wildfire. Each memory I held dear to me no longer existed for my mind for I only could accept darkness. I was a demon. Can you please get down? The na Can you see? Can you see? See, you just detach my phone. Reverend is a is error is error brain. Was it my name? Was it the name of someone close to me? I think it's my name. Couldn't place the name, so I placed it in the darkness of my mind as I felt must me. That's my first memory. I closed my eyes and breathe. <coughs> I opened them and was staring into a castle hall. Seated on the throne. I heard shouts of pleading for help and aid from the servants around me. They were all scared of the threat that was coming our way. One even approached me and asked what we should do. I'm the queen! I stared at the demon servant, recognizing him as my underling. Another new memory. What are you doing? I crossed my legs and thought briefly. The demon lord was a powerful demon, willing to kill for territory. New memory. I smirked. Oh my goodness. I am naked! <sighs> I have to go backwards. Let him come. I'm ready. I don't get to go back to the human work, do I? I felt new memories of the world around me draw up from the darkness in my mind, telling me everything I needed to know about my situation. What a throne. I was a succubus, and the new ruler of a territory the demon king wanted. I wasn't going to let him take it so easy. I wouldn't allow it. I watched as my underlings scrambled under my command and instructed them specifically on what to do and how to prepare my new land for its intruder. I then remembered. Eazer gave me the power to defeat the demon lord. Oh, that's her name. Isa, Isa, Ziar, a country. While she was out of some mission or another, I would take it and become a new being. Would she return? Not likely. She was too weak to return after ripping open a tear into the human world. She would be on her little mission forever, leaving me with her kingdom unless she found a far, unless she found a powerful enough human to grant her access back. She wouldn't know that though. Not until the very last minute. Too bad. My mind allowed me to see all of the power I had and I smirked at the thought of each spell my mind began being powerful enough to wipe out the kingdoms. This is what I wanted. This was my calling. I was free to carve my own path. I had the power to do it! This was my happily after. I was surely going to enjoy every minute of it. My kingdom. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god! My kingdom, I look sexy. No, no, no. I look sexy. Look at that. What's so sexy? That. What's so sexy? I don't know. Why you don't know? What's I don't know? What? We're going to do herd. I just wanted to get that out of the way because I know that was part of the thing as well. So out of her, well, out of us three, we've done her. Then we'll go to James. Then we'll go to Eric. Because I don't know. I think James is like one of those common story type things. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to this, but it su it seems like it. So we are going to start anew. Where is that other one? Uh, the hair. So, Dragon Company was her. So we'll go with Trinity. Bah, fine. Be lame. Sure, she don't like it. All right. Now that we've decided on a name, skip all the lines. Me and you both. Yeah. See, why can't she just be normal like the two of us? You're abnormal. She's not normal. She is an Al Capone descendant. I don't have what Naomi is having. Other food, blah blah blah. Get to the boring sad part. Alright, again. Ouch. Insta slap. <gasps> Naomi's right. Of course you would side with her. What? would side with her. Whoops! Do it again! What are you doing? I pressed the wrong thingy. That's a nice slap in the face. Suzu's right. What? What? No, he's right. Oh, man, come on. But See, she knows about proper public taste. Yeah. I know how to be a lady. Wow. She's an Al Capone. Leave it alone. Hit him again. No. <laughs> Be calm. <laughs> and I will accept that bunny rabbit. But it looks so creepy. No. Be cool. Maybe uh 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 I I draw an egg. So then Skip it skip 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 Hi Then them in Bye. Then why did one? I'll go out with them. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um. What's that again? Suzu, you eat chili peppers when you're bored. Everything you eat always needs more flavor. I still can't get over that. You never eat spicy things, Anderson. You don't know how it feels. I do eat. Anyways, after the mall, what do you want to do? Bye, the cafe. Oh, hi. So pink. To be honest, no. No, no. I'm so sorry about your grandfather, Pat. Hey. You have color. What do you think of the? Do you think the company should have? Yeah, Bye, being all negative. 
Um. Stay put. Bye. <laughs> it's fun watching this all go over. Um. What's that again? Explore the house. I've done it before. Try. Don't disturb them. I still love rice and chicken. I love curry rice and chicken. And then we'll save here. No, save it! And then we shall go to the Pink Lady Cafe! Arrived and then the stuck at home on Sunday because anyway, something new, no matter how often he came, and I knew that she's a secret agent! The double door and look around. Not many people were in, and Kay didn't seem to be working today. She can not always be working. I made my way to the pastry bar and took a look at what the cafe had to offer that day. After that day, there was always something new no matter when you came, which was, which is what kept people coming, including myself. As I browsed, uh, as I browsed the delights, my mouth began to water and drool. I had just eaten earlier, but the cafe's pastries always looked good enough to tease your appetite back into the hungry state. But the smell and the look of each dessert was carefully crafted to appease. You didn't regret buying one and biting into it. I finally made a decision and headed to the cash register to purchase my treat. What can I get for you? Hi, you're big. I didn't mean like she's big, but her big voice. It suddenly boosted in my earphones. I don't know why. I'll take a cup of chocolate and raspberry macaroons and add a pink lady latte, please. What's a latte? Coming right up. What's a proper latte is the question. Hi. Lily's K. Uh, well, Lily was K's assistant who mainly stuck to the cafe's finances and computer work. However, when she wasn't in, Lily took over, becoming the face behind the cash register who gave you what you needed. Where's Kay? Kay had to fly out to New York suddenly. What? She said it had something to do with delivering something special to someone. I'm not too clear on the details. Well, that's not good. It's with the devil. Wish I could go to New York. Don't we all? Here you are. Enjoy. Thanks. <clears throat> I took my order to a far corner table and got comfy. Pink Lady Latte was a special that everyone adored. It was a normal latte with a very subtle raspberry flavor. The food was pink too! Before I could indulge though, I voice that me. Oh, hey! Hey, why don't you say my name? I looked up to see Naomi enter the cafe with a smile towards me. I smiled back but not expecting to see her. Hey! Mind if I join you? Oh, sure, just order first. She nodded before quickly getting herself a coffee. Cake slice. <gasps> That's nice. And a latte. Join my table. I've been wanting to try their latte for a while. Is it any good? It's awesome. It has a nice raspberry flavor. Do her cafe latte before sipping it. Smiling at the latte. Mm, this does taste, taste good. Taste sorry. I'll have to get this from now on. The raspberry oh. is a really nice compliment with the coffee. Yeah, I know. Why are you talking like that? Oh man, with all this food talking, I'm now even more hungrier. I loved food even when it wasn't made in the school cafeteria. Oh, when it wasn't made in the cafeteria, it, she loved the food. She wanted to own a restaurant someday. We'll be chef and pastry maker. Not always focus on studying the business side. Now we had natural cooking skills that made grandmother seem like novices and amazing. And making you food amazing food. What? No, and the natural cooking skills that made grandmother seem like novices at making you amazing food. Huh? 
You should get the macaroons next time. Raspberry macaroons definitely bring out the flavor in this latte. Whoops. I should. I giggled. No, we not food. Okay. I should. Yeah. Drew will look of thought on her face as she's staring into a latte. Probably thinking about food again. How is she so thin? During these moments that I got to see a simpler, almost beautiful side of Naomi. She's smart. Smarter than me. However, she always held seriousness very close to passion. Dictating her heart to her dream. I want to be a Buzz Lightyear chef. It was inevitable. I sipped my latte and ate a macaroon before speaking and breaking her thoughts. Thanks, by the way, for coming to my impromptu party. I know it was last minute and all. She broke away from her drink and looked at me in surprise. Then with a smile. It was my pleasure, really. I mean, our pleasure. Suzu came too and all. <laughs> Why are you going, hey, hey, hey? Let me blushed a bit before cleaning her throat. She's taking a sip of her latte. Then she looked again at me with a slight frown. But hey, how are you holding up from that? I'm sure meeting all those business people was tiring. It's fine. I was expecting anything I couldn't handle. It was just suddenness of it that tired me out. Exactly. Well, I'm sure you did great. It was a great party. The food was amazing. Yeah, thank the boys for it. It was amazing. I still remember the party, remembering how I felt alone throughout it. I wanted to be my friends, but I had to put on business. My business air to impress my guests and my father. Then I tried to hurt. It was supposed to be a simple party, but it felt like a job interview. Before I got too deep in my thoughts, though, I felt a hand gently over mine. Oh my god! I completely focused my thoughts to reality! Naomi was holding my hand! Hey, I know that look. You're about to overthink it. Don't. You did great. I'm sure of it. Thanks! I stared at her, unsurprised that she caught into my thoughts, and happy to know that she cared. Thanks! She smiled and blushed, giving a small nod. She was absolutely adorable when she smiled like that. I didn't know how, but her smile was able to make the room lighter. I should make her into a doll! Ooh. Put her hand away, placing it back on the latte with her other hand cupping the mug. Sipped her drink, Naomi licked her lips, and let out a sigh. This is really nice. A relaxing Sunday afternoon at a cafe. I did it. Okay. Yeah. It's almost like a date! Should I say that? All of a sudden, her face turned pink, then look. Okay, never mind. Alright, you're turning red. Must have snapped out of her trance. She fanned herself and tried to calm down of whatever was on her mind. Uh, oh! No, no, I'm fine. Really? Just a little warm, that's all. <laughs> you weirdo. You knew I was gonna say that. But the latte up to her mouth and began to drink. Practically chewed it down. Whoa, isn't it too hot? It could burn your throat. Kind of cute of how fast she got from a simple statement. Feels myself quietly before sipping on my latte. Don't tell me you got a second you got second servings. And the color went on to hopping. Lily would join us and we'd talk about silly things like TV shows and movies. Oh wow! It's getting late. I gotta get home and my mom will flip. Backwards, forwards. Oh, okay. Would you like a ride home? How? In the car? It was nice to be alone rather than having explosive suits around. Really? The remainder of the night passed by. Oh, great! I forgot. Oh, I was glad I saw your little mutt. How did I get? What? How did I not get that choice last time? Oh, it's because I had to visit the room. Right. Goody two shoes. 
Well, I'm a Kuja. I came here to clean up with the. I'm gonna give up my memories. If it was okay, what did she mean? Did something happened yesterday. Oh, the the the, the thing. I remember going to school with Lizette, then going home. Wow. Yay. I forgot to text. Everything was fine. See you when you get here. <laughs> Great. Focus on her desk so more than usual. Don't tell me you need to fly to somewhere to learn cooking. Phone. Thank God I set it on vibrate. Suzu began to text. Dude, what's up with Naomi? How would I know? Man, I hope everything's alright with her. This isn't like her at all. I know. I looked over again. She was intensely scribbling. Again with the purple pencil! By the way, Kay kind of let me in on what's going on with Naomi. What's wrong? Apparently, Naomi's got a crush on someone. Like, a huge crush. She's been to the cafe to see Kay multiple times since the beginning of the school year. Oh. Can't believe it! Wow! Wow! But somewhere I felt angry. Who did I? Why was she so nervous? Is it me? Oh God! We have crush problems now. Oh, so girly! At the bell rang. She stood up. Uh, I need to go. See you in economics. Hi, hey, lady! Come back here. It's the first time you're out of the door. I don't know. Chase! And I need to help her. I grabbed my things Whoa. and rushed. Anderson! Hey! Stop calling me by my last name! You know my name! I need to get to you! I turn to you! Where is she going? Blah, 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 blah. I read, read this already! Help her! She made and lent. And blum blum blum. Tears painted her cheek. What's wrong? Uh, it's nothing. Nothing. It's I... not nothing if you're crying. Find a cover her face, clean the sinus, press my lips together, not believing her. Talk to me. You are acting strange. I was just listening to the lecture. No, you're not. I have bad handwriting. No, you do not have bad writing. You have precise and elegant handwriting. Why are you lying to me? Tell me. You can't help me, okay? Oh, you stop doing that. <gasps> I know I read this before. I've been having some issues, okay? I know. Just tell well, me what they are. I mean, it's not an issue, but I mean, it's hard to describe. If it's love problems, just tell me. In a way. Who's bothering you? No. Who's bothering you? Well, Actually, it's the opposite. Huh? You have a crush on someone? Yeah, but I... I don't know how to handle it. I mean, I used to believe I liked only guys, but all of a sudden I had these feelings. So I went to Kay, but she only listened and told me to just go along with it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how do I mean... Mm-hmm. What's that? Earrings is Lola's. You have a crush on a girl. That's not bad, is it? I'm the one who always wanted to talk about guys. It's fine! You're a bisexual! You can like whoever you like. But what if I liked someone who was really close to me? Why are we hinting on someone here? Someone. Like you, There is no way. It's weird. Personality interest Naomi enough to like her after all these years. I felt a little chest. It's me! I had to stop. This wasn't helping her. I need to help her feel better. Come here. I'll pat you on the back. If you like someone close to you, that makes the feeling much more powerful. Who knows? Maybe she'll like it back. Almost I couldn't understand. It seems strange, but it was almost loving. What if the person I like is you? Well, that was direct. Let's go kiss. Oh, when? Why? Ooh, I covered her mouth. Her face turning red. I've liked you for a while now. I mean, well, I've liked you since last year. 
Really? I was really not sure about how I felt, though, until last semester, when I started seeing Kay. Great. She told me that what I was feeling was normal, even though I kind of thought I'd always go for men. I mean, not that I have anything against people who aren't straight, but like... Can we stop that? We had an issue with this packet over before. Meh. Under the door, but I couldn't help but stare in surprise at her. You like me? I removed the... She took my hand and brought it to her lips, closing her eyes to breathe before looking back. I like you. I really do. Okay? Why are you so calm about your confession? My heart fluttered in flattery. My best friend liked me. I wasn't sure what to say. And how is Nay and How is Panty and how is Suzu not involved? Face as red as tomato. She continued to hold my hand. Wanting to say something. She was a patient woman. I guess the confession really got her nerves out because doing? now she was calm What's and seemed really like She's holding the hand. What? what could I say to her though? I you have your eyes. A huge deal for both her and me. She had been one of my best friends. Confessing. So really it's both strange it's strange and fluffy. I feel so much better after that saying that. Thank you. It's called ex Sissism. Was she not expecting me to say anything in return? Mumble in my stomach. Go out. I spit it out. I know we read the same thing already. I was positive that if she blushed anymore, she would faint. Did you just? Yes, 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 I did. Did you kill my phone? No, you did not kill my phone. It's a lie. Or else Lola would not be able to call. Doink. No. No, get off my face. My fair share. You're adorable and I love that about you. You're kind and sophisticated and you have this sort of charm. Always with a charm. Would you go out at me? And even though I know you're not an Al Capone descendant. Amen! Me, me, minion lord! Good for you. Uh, I passed over, I graduated. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oh, what, 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 what? Went to culinary school after school, learning the basics of cooking and business. Her desire to a cafe was astounding, and soon she was ranking at the top of the classes. Okay, over the job, letting her serve with Lily as supervisor. Ooh. Mother, where'd he go? Mother, where'd he go? Not again. Ah, can I skip Is this all? as you wanted. There's no need to worry about who I am. I ah, oh, skip. I Would you mind? Love. Skip, 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 Sure, what's up? I need to talk to you. Okay, honey. Guess what happened? What? You graduated? Just guess. Uh, got transferred up in a level? Nope. In a way. What did you win? Paris! <gasps> you get to go to Paris! Guess who's going to Paris for summer before sophomore? Oh my god! Good luck to ya! That's awesome! That France was a great place to learn about cafes. Second only to Italy. However, I felt my heart grow heavy. Oh, you're gonna get left behind! Three days and it would last the entire summer. Talked about going together as in a kind of international date of sorts. She was going to go alone. Great. Huh? I know that look on your face. What's wrong? You're going! Long distance relationship! They let me before looking in their hands. Then she started giggling and almost laughing. What's so funny? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't show you. You have two tickets! <laughs> you! I hate you now! <laughs> ah! We both can go. When did you have a second one? Wow! She's the taller one. This is great! 
Dang it! <sighs> you are mean! You are a meaner! No, not the bloopers. Not the bloopers. Not the bloopers! Am I heard? But I'm missing something here, isn't it? Oh, wait, I'm just looking right now at the thing. I need to do something else instead. So, load. Lock and load, baby! Was it this one? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, why did you get it then? Here. But she's lost in her latte until she eventually left. What? I was joking. Whoops. I yawned and sipped my latte before Lily came over to cup of her own. Mind if I steal this spa? Sure, but can you please close that? Sipping her drink. So, how are you feeling? Empty! Where's the place my feelings? Other things that happened. That's Understandable. Your grandfather always came here when he was stressed or overwhelmed. Great! You knew my grandma? Yes. He was a regular. He was a very kind man. Always gave me extra tips just for smiling at him. <laughs> However, he mostly came to talk to Kay. They were practically inseparable. Yeah, business partners. Oh, that's the extra. I always liked to stay on because of his health. Whereas he wasn't the case. Sick my tea before tilting my head at Lily. What did he usually talk about? The company, mostly. It was stressful for him, but he always left here with a smile. Kay has that special ability to talk to people, I guess. Great! She frowned and looked in her cup. Kay was affected the most by his death. She didn't come in the day he was publicly announced at. Aww. I remembered the amount of sadness I felt during his funeral and closed my eyes. Grief is painful and it's never easy to cope over. Would I fully move on? Eventually, I let out a sigh and took a sip. He loved to talk about you, you know. What? Look up at Lillian's surprise, seeing her smile at me. He cared for you a lot. And always talked about how you helped him with his toys. The smile he got every time your name came up could brighten a dark room. Great. Do I have a demon name too, by the way? Apart from that other ending. Ending. Whatever is going on in your life will pass. Your grandfather had full faith in you and knew you would be happy whatever came your way. Aww. Including the house. I was like, it was like hearing grandfather speak through your lips, Lily. I felt my eyes water so softly and I reached up and wiped my eyes. I miss you. Thank you, Lily. It means a lot to hear you say that. She smiled. And nodded before finishing her drink and stand. Well, back to work I go. This place can't run on its own. I know. You'll figure out what to do. Whatever is troubling you. Whatever. Great. I am so great with my life. I had to do. Finish my macaroons and left. Huh? <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wait. I'll just save it here since I'm done with her. So, wow. Who wrote the shorter? Oh no. Her out the shorter. Oh my god. Oh. 
Oh well, I just ended here anyway. Cause I need I need to be fair with the game. I need to do one extra each now. Not that bloopers! I keep pressing the wrong things. Why, 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 why? So. I got all nine, I guess. That is still hot, I swear. <laughs> oh boy. I'd like a chair like that, though. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. In the next episode, we will do James. Oh god. And then finally we'll do Eric. I don't know why. I just like this guy. <laughs> so. Apart from him. I like this guy. Apart from this guy the most. I like this guy next. So, I, I'm going to stop blabbering. Because I want to finish it. So, Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching the seducing me. What? If you enjoyed watching this game. And want to see some more. Just simply wave your one like a social. And hit the like button and subscribe button. To watch the next part. Until then, this is Netnarf signing off.